Hello everybody, I am Chris Kleinsmith and you are tuned into Apostolic Touch and I am so delighted to be in your company today, to be in your home, to be with you and your family and I am so happy that I can come and share with you God's Word and share with you the speakings of the Lord in this season. Um, if you're joining us today and you've joined us over the last few broadcasts, you will know that I have been talking to us about the characteristics of those who have prophetic purpose, the characteristic of those who have prophetic destiny. And this comes out of my new book, which is called The Prophetic Pursuit. And um, um, uh, my new book is now available on um, um, multiple platforms. Um, and um, it's, uh, it's available on Amazon. It's available on, um, it's available on Macro Online. It's available on Google Books. And of course, you can also receive uh, the books from our offices and our details is available there. Um, we have hard copies available and of course, um, the platform where you can have ebooks and read it on your smart devices, wherever you may be. And um, uh, we've released this book now and what a blessing it has been over the last uh, few weeks. And uh, we know that it will be of great resource to you and to your family and um, I've been talking to us about the characteristics of those who have prophetic destiny those who have prophetic purpose all of this that I've been talking to us about is inside my new book it's here and you can read through them and you can study them and you can uh, really just browse through them and allow the word of the Lord to minister and edify you as you move towards your prophetic destiny each and every one of us has a prophetic purpose. Every one of us has a prophetic destiny. It is just up to you and I to begin to identify that which God has purposed in us. Um, you will look through my book, you will find that, that I say that there are two very important days in your life. The first day is when you were born. The second day is when you discover the reason why you were born. When you discover the reason why you are born, you can set yourself on the path to trajectory to fulfill that which God has purpose in your life. Many people are born right now. Praise God, you are on this earth. You are moving on this earth. But not a lot of people know the reason why they are born. Not a lot of people know the reason why you are here. And this is the dilemma that we face. People are walking on this earth as if they have no direction. As if they have no purpose as if they have no reason why they are here you know the Bible the Bible talks about Jesus who says that I I have come to fulfill uh, the all the law and the prophets and when you when you study you will discover that there were over 350 prophecies of the Lord Jesus over 350 just imagine that over 350 prophecies about the Lord Jesus and the remarkable thing is that he fulfilled every single one of them are you hearing me today Jesus fulfilled every prophetic word that was spoken over his life now let me pose that question to you let me pose that challenge to you how many prophetic words have been spoken over your life how many words have been announced over you how many words have been spoken into you and how many times haven't I seen people go from church to church, meeting to meeting, uh, conference to conference. You can go to all those conferences to hear the word, but how many of you have purpose to fulfill the word that was spoken over your life? It's not enough now just to hear the word. It's not enough now just to have the word. It's not enough anymore just to receive the spoken word of God, but you are not moving towards the fulfillment of that word. That word must come to pass. That word must happen in your life. And I want you to know, as I've been journeying in this, in this word, I've been journeying in the process of getting this book together, one of the things that the Lord spoke to me and said to me is that your prophecy wants you as much as you want it. And you've got to understand that the word that the Lord spoke over your life is wanting to come to pass. 
is wanting to break through the realms of the unseen is wanting to break through in your life your prophecy wants you your prophecy wants to manifest in your life but you need to begin to set yourself on the course set yourself on the journey to the fulfillment of this word the lord says i am not a man that i that i can lie neither am i the son of man that that, that should repent god says what i say come to pass what i speak will happen what i speak will will come through whether it's today whether it's tomorrow whether it's 10 years 15 years whatever it may be god says i am not a man that i should lie neither the son of man that i should repent and the word that i spoke over you wants to come to pass in fact in first peter the lord says that i will hasten my word to perform it and god wants to perform your word and he wants to fulfill that word so it's not enough for you just to say well you know what i received this word i received the prophetic word i received this message but there is no manifestation of that word and this book i believe will be a motivation and encourager and a and and a fuel to get you to where god wants you to be now i've been talking about the characteristics of those who have prophetic purpose those who have prophetic destiny please listen to the messages again uh, please listen to them and, and and in our previous broadcast i spoke about those people people who have prophetic purpose they have they are they are characterized by fruits by bearing fruits and producing fruits and people who have prophetic destiny they are they are concerned they are they are driven by producing fruits they want to produce that which god wants uh, that god has spoken over their life the bible says that they produce jesus says i want you to bear much fruit people who are destined for purpose and destined for prophetic purpose they produce they begin to bring forth the results they begin to cause an effect in their life they begin to have an effect in the people around them they begin to have an effect in society effect in community effect in the church they begin to produce the results in the sphere that they are in maybe you're not changing the whole world Maybe you're not changing the entire planet, but you can change the world you are in. You can change the world that God has given you. You can change the, 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 the surroundings that you are placed in. And prophetic people, they are result oriented. They want to see the results. They want to see the results. Listen to the message again that I, I ministered um, in the previous broadcast. Now, let's continue. The next characteristic of those who have prophetic purpose and those who have prophetic destiny they uh, this the people with prophetic purpose they are characterized by a lifestyle of holiness they live a life of holiness the prophetic people prophetic people people with prophetic destiny they expose inaccuracies they will expose a a, a lifestyle of unholiness they live a life that is blameless when we talk about holiness we are talking about living in a sphere about being blameless living in a sphere of being found without fault living in a sphere where they are spotless and pure once again look at the life of joseph joseph who had the prophetic purpose the bible says this man was absolutely blameless spotless without any fault in fact, the Bible talks about how his brothers lied about him, but he was without fault. The brothers spread the rumors about him, but he was out fault. The Bible talks about how Potiphar's wife accused him of abusing her, but the Bible says he was without fault. People with prophetic destiny, they live a life of holiness. Why? Because they are always intact with their future. Because they say to themselves, I am not just living in the present. I am living, I am in connection, I am in contact with my future. And this things, this unholy lifestyle does not contribute to where I am going. I hope you hear what I'm saying today. This, this unholy lifestyle does not contribute to what God wants to do in my life. This is why the Bible says Joseph ran away from Potiphar's wife. 
the, Joseph ran as fast as he can to get away from a life of unholiness, to get away from, the Bible says, the appearances of evil. Prophetic people, they live a life of holiness, live a life that is faultless, live a life that is blameless because their future is always talking to them. Their, their, their destiny is always talking to them. Therefore, they are intact with uh, living a life that is pure before the Lord. The Bible says that, um, the Bible says in the book of Psalms, or rather Proverbs 28 verse 13, He who covers his sin shall not prosper. You see the word cover here means to conceal. It means to hide. It means to cover up. And the prophetic people do not hang dirty washing on the line, neither do they expose sin for all to see with the intention to embarrass or to do harm or to humiliate. Instead, prophetic people, people with prophetic destiny, they speak the truth in love. People with prophetic destiny is concerned about turning people to God and turning people to God and turning them away from a life that is sinful. Turning people, not covering up, but they are moving people towards the purposes of God. The Bible says in the Romans chapter 6 verse 23, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. The Bible says Nathan with a prophetic purpose, with prophetic destiny, came to David and uh, he exposed the inaccuracies of David. He exposed the, the sinful state of David. And the Bible says David turned to God. David turned to God in haste. And the Bible says he wrote Psalms chapter 51 where the Bible says, uh, David says, Oh God, cast me not away from your presence. But give me your Holy Spirit. Lead me. Don't take away your joy of your salvation. But give unto me the joy of your salvation. And give me your free spirit. The Bible talks about how he writes the psalm. And he says to the Lord, restore unto me the joy of your salvation. And uphold me with your free spirit a person with prophetic destiny he desires to live a life that is holy before god a life that is blameless before god and not just before god but a life that is blameless before the people that he is in connection with a life that is blameless with the people that he's in his world a life that is blameless without fault without uh, without blemish and without error in the lives of those who he is in connection with prophetic people they live like this because they know that their destiny is on the line they live like this because their future is on the line they live a life of holiness because they know that the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life they live a life of holiness because they know that uh, that sin does not contribute one dying to their future sin does not contribute the things of the world does not contribute one dime to that which god wants to accomplish therefore i say to you prophetic purpose prophetic people just like joseph ran away from all appearances of evil just like joseph ran away from even those things that look evil the Bible says that we do, the Bible says that the, the people of God, they run away from appearances of evil. Listen, he says, he didn't say he ran away from those things that are evil. He says, if it looks evil, you have to run. And here the Bible says that when things appear to be evil, we run. Why? Because your prophetic purpose is is on the line your destiny is on the line your future is on the line that which god wants to do is on the line hear the word of the lord today hear the speakings of god just like joseph begin to run away from that which looks like it's evil and run towards the purposes of god the next characteristic of those who have prophetic purpose those who are filled with prophetic future and destiny is they are characterized by edification they are a people who exhort and they comfort they are the people who are able to build up 
They are the people who are able to, to exhort and encourage people with prophetic destiny, people with prophetic purpose, people with prophetic future. They are people who are edifiers. Oh my God. They are edifiers. They built up. The word edification means to build up. They are people who stir up. They are people who bind up. They are people who open up. Let me say that one more time. People with prophetic purpose are people who build up. They stir up. They bind up. And they open up. I'm speaking to someone today that must come into this realm that can build up, stir up, um, bind up, and open up. When you connect to the prophetic realm, there are certain things that will just open up to you because you are an edifier. You are a person of edification because you are a person that is able to build. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 14.3, but he that prophesied speaketh unto men to edify, exhort, and comfort. People with prophetic destiny, they are edifiers, they are exhorters, they are people who can comfort. The word edify means to, to, to build, to promote, to exhort, to, to, bring, to, to bring to growth. The building of a house, where you see when you build a house, you lay one brick on top of another. When you, you just don't throw the house out of a machine. You begin to build it one brick at a time. You begin to build it one stone at a time. You begin to build one, one, one layer of bricks at a time. And a person of prophetic purpose, a person of prophetic destiny, they know how to begin to build one stone at a time. One brick at a time. They begin to build their future one stone at a time. They begin to build their destiny one purpose at a time time one assignment at a time one goal at a time one 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 sign at a time people with prophetic destiny they are encouragers they are builders they are edifiers they begin to lay the foundation and build one stone upon the next Listen to me today. God is saying to me to tell you that you must not stop where you are. Keep building. Keep edifying. Keep exhorting. Keep stirring. Keep opening up. Keep binding up. And as you do this, you will see the house begin to stand. You begin to see what your future begins to look like. Your future begins to become more and more a reality to you. Why? Because you are a master builder. You are a master edifier fire you're a person with purpose and you're building towards that which god has shown you in your youth you're building towards that which god showed you when you were a young man you are building towards that which god put in you when you are but just a little girl god is allowing you to begin to build your way to that which god has put in in you don't put it down start building keep building keep moving keep edifying what because your future is becoming clearer and clearer the bible says in the book of ezra chapter 4 verse 24 the bible says the work began to cease which was at jerusalem and so it ceased unto the second year of the reign of king darius of persia this verse is talking about how the people of God was building the, 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 the temple of the Lord. But the Bible says, after the building of the temple of the Lord, the Bible says that the work began to stand still. The work began to cease. And commentaries will tell you that the work began to cease, it stands still. And when it stand, and when it stood still, it stood still for 15 years. All they saw was just foundation. All they saw was just a slab for a want of words. All they saw was just foundation. And I'm speaking to someone right now that has come to this place in their life and all they see is just foundation. There's no movement. Things have gotten to a place of stagnation in your life. There is no movement. There is no progress. There is no initiation. Nothing is moving forward. But God is coming to tell you in the season of your life, God is coming to tell you that though the things have come to a grinding halt, 
there is a prophetic anointing there is a prophetic purpose that God is about to release over you that's going to cause you to start building a cane look at the Bible says in the book of uh, uh, Ezra 5 verse 2 the Bible says and the prophets Haggai and the prophet Zechariah the son of Edo prophesied unto the Jews that were in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of the Lord and the Bible says the prophets came to help them the men of God the prophetic dimension came and began to encourage the people began to motivate the people began to stir the people began to bind up began to open up and the bible says after 15 years of dormancy the people rose up to build after 15 years of dormancy the the world began to move again maybe i'm speaking to someone that became very quiet regarding you their prophecy i'm speaking to someone that became silent regarding their future uh, maybe i'm speaking to someone that became very quiet about the future you but God is sending a prophetic purpose a prophetic announcement a prophetic word over your life this season to activate you again to start moving towards your purpose to start moving towards your destiny you are coming out of lockdown you are coming out of this place of dormancy you are coming out of the place of stagnation you are coming out of the place of of, of where nothing seems to work in your life and the Spirit of God is going to activate you again the Bible says they rose up they stood up they stood up they got up and they came out of inaction this is your portion right now people with prophetic destiny they will come out of inaction they will come out of uh, dormancy and stagnation and begin to build towards that which God wants them to be Isaiah 60 verse 1 says the following arise and shine your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you I want you to know today the light of God is shining on your path the light of God is shining over you and it's time for you to arise it's time for you to stand up it's time for you to get up it's time for you to come out of that inaction it's time for you to come out of that dormancy and begin to build and begin to edify and begin to strengthen and begin to uh, bind up and stir up and build up and open up the road towards your prophetic purpose listen I want you to listen to this messages again listen to this uh, audios again listen to this uh, this broadcast again it's going to be a blessing in your life listen to it listen to the word listen to the voice of the spirit listen to the speakings of the word listen to the wooings of God I promise you that the Spirit of God is going to ignite something in you I've been talking to you over the last few sessions about um, my new book the prophetic pursuit the characteristics of the prophetic uh, people who have prophetic purpose get a hold of the copy get a get your copy get your book get your ebook get your hard copy contact us on the details that is running at the bottom of your screen contact us and you can get a hold of this book and it will be a resource to you that's going to help you to get to where God wants you to be remember God is on your side dreaming a dream through you God is in you dreaming a future in you and you need to move towards the fulfilling of the purposes of God in your life tag two or three or four or five or six people in the broadcast say it to your Facebook page and let everybody know that God wants to do something in your life that is bigger than your human understanding I'm Chris Klingsworth you've joined us on apostolic touch and I have had a great time spending this few sessions with you ministering and sharing with you the word of the Lord God bless you God keep you God make his face to sign upon you until the next time everybody God bless you <laughs>